people dead and several other Topping our headlines at four, a horrific five vehicle crash in Hickory Hill leaves three people dead and several others injured. Police say a 16 year old led them on a chase and later caused that crash. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. I'm Alex Coleman. We now know the victims who were killed are 47 year old Patrice Hughes, her daughter, 26 year old Dantree Standback, and 26 year old Shaquilla Sively. Standback's two year old daughter was injured and was in the ICU earlier today. That 16 year old Arian Watkins is facing several charges, including aggravated robbery, evading arrest with vehicle pursuit, and prohibited weapons like a machine gun. WRAG's Jessica Knox has new details and more of that shocking surveillance video showing what led to the wreck. The police chase ended here on Kirby Parkway in Rains Road. MPD tells us it started five miles away from here on Getwell and Cottonwood Road. It ended with three women dead and several others injured. <laughs> Surveillance video from a business shows the crash. This is what's left of the five vehicles after a 16-year-old ran a red light and crashed into other vehicles. Memphis police say it started at 947 Tuesday night when they tried to pull over the car along Cottonwood Road in Parkway Village. You can hear the chase on police radio posted on a broadcast file. We need cars over here. From here, well going at 80 miles per hour, moderate traffic. Police say they lost contact with the car. Several minutes later, it was spotted in the Hickory Hill area. Officers say the 16-year-old refused to stop, ran a traffic light, causing a five-car crash. Two female victims were pronounced deceased on the scene. The female was transported from the scene to a local hospital and later pronounced. The 16-year-old was also transported to the hospital in non-critical condition. He was the only one in the car. A two-year-old and five other adults in other cars were also taken to the hospital but are expected to be okay. Those in the community are blaming parents. What are the parents doing with their youth and with the kids? And it just keeps on... It's like a cycle. This man who does not want to be identified says the blame can also go on Memphis police. Every time they chase somebody, somebody die. Stop chasing people. Why are you chasing? There's more than one way to catch somebody. Reporting for your news leader in Hickory Hill, I'm Jessica Knotts, WREG News Channel 3. Mm -hmm. Our Shea author has been working to learn more about the three women who lost their lives. You're going to hear that report coming up on this channel 3 at 6. I'm going to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. And honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this truth, and Shalom to the elect. So, anyway, I saw this uh, news clip. I said, eh, I'm not going to do a video on it, but I know the. Um, Elder out of, of South Carolina, Elder Manata Zalaba, he kind of goes into these uh, clips showing, you know, the judgment of the Lord, which is good because um, nobody wants to lose loved ones. You know, you, you see these things happening. But the scriptures in Ezekiel, the third chapter and the 17th verse said he made us a watchman to the house of Israel and give them warning, meaning to warn them from the judgment. The, the pre the pre the pre judgment or the judgment and then the ultimate judgment that's going to come right but our people ain't taking heed to that you know they probably all laughed about the Israelites right and then you had this you know let me get a scripture real quick because everything is timing everything is timing Jeremiah 10 and 23 oh Lord I know that the way of man is not in himself it is not in man that walk up to direct his steps. What would have been the perfect time to get in the car with your family, get up to the uh, the stoplight, right, and somebody blows a, a, a red light and hit you and kill you? So, you know, I'm, I'm doing this also because there was a comment left. Not a comment. We was at camp and somebody said, um, why don't y'all go into the hoods? Um, and try to wake up black people because the black people are the ones that need it the most or something like that and you can clearly see in this situation right here 
all it took is that right time. time. You know, it, it looked like they came from the salon. They got all this makeup on. You know, that's another video. You know, um, I'm reading a couple of comments. Um, you know, everybody always say the 16-year-old with a stolen vehicle and a machine gun. Mom and dad failed raising this one. How do you know it was a dad? How do you know it was a mom? You know, this kid needs to be held accountable for these deaths, right? Okay. 16 years old. And we go into the law. You got this 16-year-old young woman, because she's a woman. But if she messes with a 40-year-old man or 50-year-old man, she don't know what she's doing. That man is going to be charged. But in this situation, she runs a red light and kills people. Then she knows what she's doing and she will be charged. That's the law. I mean, hey, we can't make this stuff up. But um, somebody says, stop blaming the police for everything. That's the next thing I want to get. Um, you know, I just did a video on the defund the police, right? Because everybody talking about defund them. Now they're asking for more police. First of all, there's guidelines, there's laws. Remember Romans 13, let's get that real quick. There's laws set up by the Heavenly Father. Remember, all this stuff is set up by the Lord anyway. There's a reason why you have traffic lights. That's what traffic lights are for. Red stop, yellow slow down, and green go. I think a five-year-old knows that. But this comes from the entitled woman, right? Eve is entitled to do whatever Eve wants to do and they don't accept, expect any consequences because there's never really any consequences until it's too late, right? Uh, let's go to Romans, where was I at? Let's go to Romans, I believe it's 13. I mean, all y'all need to know, know the scripture. Let's see what it says. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but Yahweh, but God, the powers that be are ordained by God. One thing I've learned from my life of criminal activity, coming out of group homes, living in the streets, and getting caught up with the wrong crowd, the things that I've done have always came back on me twofold. Whether it was that week, or whether it was the next year, or whether it was 10 years from then, the Lord has always shown me uh, what I've done wrong. Then you realize that you start fighting against the system. You're really fighting against the Lord because the Lord is the one set it up. And that's why these Eves got their judgment. Not so much maybe they haven't caused it, but let's see what the scriptures say about that. Let's go to Ezekiel 8 and 11 because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily right therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil right who knows how much adultery has been going on right how much deception how much you know people has been hurt behind these eaves nobody gets away nobody gets away no matter how you look at it remember John the ninth chapter when they said who did sin this man or the one or, or, or his parents that he was born blind. Yeah, there's a thing called reincarnation as well. There's a thing called judgment. And judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. Judgment. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now that even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of out of my hand a lot of these people are Christian they go to church they don't do anything the Bible says Hell, the, Bible, the, the church doesn't even teach to do what the Bible says it says do away with the laws right you know you see these ease with the makeup which means to be covered something that is used up and they don't even understand when they put this stuff on how it affects their reproductive system but again that's another video we know the set up and the styles and the fads that are pushed and used to produce more wickedness, right? And deception, right? That's just what it is. 
And then I want to get to this last point. I don't want to make this video long. This guy, this Jake, he said the police just needs to stop chasing them. Every time they chase somebody, somebody get killed. So what happens when they stop chasing them? You know what Jake going to do? They're going to do exactly what they're doing now. There's going to be nobody to chase. So if there's, if, if there's no police to chase them when they commit crimes, that means they can rob a bank and just fly through the red lights and everything is all right. If I was that reporter, I would have asked that, well, wait a minute, if the police stops chasing them, then what is supposed to happen when someone robs a bank or robs somebody and steal their car, hijack their car? What are they supposed to do? Well, we just wait around and see if it pops up. <laughs> and you know, that, especially in this community, let me say that, it's a true community, but around you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, they don't give a damn anyway. That, why do you think they're putting them communities? Them police, man, they're putting them communities for a reason. They don't police their own neighborhoods. They police your neighborhoods. But you're the same people that vote these people in offices that stand in and vote and then complain when no so-called black person vote. Well, if you voted and I didn't and you still lost, as the younger brother, my ass, ad said, then you're still the problem. Because at least if your vote so-called counted, what has happened? You guys all talk about defunding the police. You ain't got the answer. The only answer is this truth, man. That's the only answer. That's why Jeremiah 51, uh, let me go to Jeremiah 51, I think it's 51. You ain't got the answers. We got the answers. And y'all scoffed and mocked us. And the Lord is coming through on judgment. Right? Let me see where it is. I think it's Jeremiah 51. It might be 52. Let me see real quick. You mocked us. And everybody, they making these skits and these schemes, these memes over us. <clears throat> right? And I can't say those ease for sure. But they probably sit in there and they'll, they'll see it on TikTok or YouTube and they'll laugh at it. And that's why Proverbs 1 says, I will laugh and I will mock when your fear cometh. Right? That's, that's what the Lord says. Let's go to, I think it's Isaiah, not Jeremiah. I was looking at Jeremiah 51. It's actually Isaiah. Um, let's see, that's Isaiah 51. Let's see what it says. You mocked us, now you're getting mocked. Right? Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which have drunk of the hand of the Lord, the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. Yeah, definitely. Awake. So judgment don't come upon you, man. Try to be of the hopeful elect. This Jake, he just trying to still make the excuse for this young 16-year-old blowing the stop signs. And then they blame the parents. <laughs> yeah. But it goes deeper than the parents. The system, the one told the parents that they are not allowed to put hands on them and discipline them according to the scriptures. Spare the rod, spoil the child, discipline your children, bow down their necks. Ah, this system don't push that. They say take their game from them, right? Or just let them do what they want. The mom is too busy working and eating fast food. There's no responsibilities. They're working, the, child, the children come home playing games she probably spoiled the little girl and gave her, gave her a car. And then she just, there's no punishment or consequences. And then when they go to jail, then they'll give them consequences and punishments. But this Jake, he's probably not a good parent himself. He's still blaming the police. It wasn't the police that ran through the goddamn stop sign or the red light. It wasn't the police fault in that, let's be honest. She didn't stop. The police chased the goddamn car. What do you think they're going to do? Anyway, so Rock 32 and 17, a sinful man will not be reproved. Right? And this is what they do, man. 
Everybody want to find an excuse, but find an excuse according to his will. You're just as much the, this Jake is just as much the problem. Here everybody talking about is the parents, they need to be more parenting. Well, you know, if you understood the Bible, Matthew 10 and 35 said, I'm going to separate families. Remember, the eye shall be evil towards your brother, the eye shall be evil towards your daughter and your sister. You know where part of that evilness come? Not disciplining. Allowing them to do what they want to do. And this is what happened. You got spoiled children running around doing whatever it is they want to do. And then there's victims behind the consequences. And everybody, uh, you know, is judged according to their works. I don't know what these women did, but they're judged. They're good now. They know they're Israelites. And if they laughed at them, they are ashamed about it. Anyway, I just want to make this video short. That's all I want to show them.